Transcendental Meditation. Um, why did you feel the need to write a second book? Well, that's really a great question because it might otherwise seem overkill. But the first book was really about what TM can do for people in distress, whether the distress comes from anxiety, comes from being in prison, comes from being homeless, post-traumatic stress from a war veteran or an abuse victim. All these people, disadvantaged schools, all these people could stand to benefit because of the stress-reducing effects of TM, which are really huge. People at risk for cardiovascular disease actually have been shown to improve with meditation, with TM. Um, and that was really the focus. TM as a medical ancillary or alternative treatment, really. It was fascinating to me that there's so much data on it. And then when I was done with that book, I thought I had said the last word I had on the subject. But as I continued to meditate, I really realized that it does much more than that, that it opens up the mind, that it makes you more effective. I've written four books in the last eight years. You know, I'm supposed to be at a time in my life when I'm slowing down. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. You're, you're just getting started because of this. And I don't feel like I'm slowing down. I feel like I am younger and more vital and more exuberant as a result of the TM. Because of the deep rest that it gives me twice a day, it's a revitalizing intervention. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm just really happy. And so they're, they're for supermind. This is not just stress reduction. This is consciousness expansion. This is consciousness growth. And this is all kinds of goodies that follow that.